Hello my friends and welcome to Nightmare Mode. It's episode 10 of Nightmare Mode. And we are going to do the mission which I am most concerned about losing. Believe it or not. Although it is worth doing, of course. And it's this one. The Stolen Goods Ambush Convoy. And the reason why I'm so concerned about losing it is pretty obvious, and that is that um, evasion is so much better in Rogue Tech than in the base game, or even in the tabletop, to be honest. <clears throat> and that means that missions where someone is running away <clears throat> are potentially much, much more difficult than any other kind of mission. We watched in the first episode where I played a pilot game just to see just to get a feel for how it played. Um that spider ran away from me. And uh it became very apparent to me with the ease at which even a rookie pilot could obtain six or seven evasion tokens. It can be very difficult to stop um, enemies from escaping. Hey, after we finish, swimming anyone? Okay, what the hell is going on with this map? That's their escape. That's where they're due to turn up, I guess. Out. I am stuck in the uncanny valley here. Primary target on screen, Commander. Time to earn our money. This is the convoy? And it's going here. I'm not even sure if I'm in the position to intercept it. Unless, for whatever reason, it has to take this route. It has to go around this way. Which it sort of looks like it does. <clears throat> hmm. Receiving you. On the move. Full speed. I see a whole lot of tanks. Let's keep that heat down for now. Target acquired. Oh, nice. I was not expecting good clean hits there, but I I got them. Okay, so the convoy is the thick cross, and the escorts are the hashed cross. So these four vehicles are the convoy, and I guess they're following this road to here. So they've got all road and pretty much a direct path. I'm not sure if I can stop them. Waiting on you, Commander. So I've barely even been given enough turns to... Uh, get anywhere near in position. <clears throat> it's almost not even worth firing missiles at this guy. Oh. No Whatever, I got plenty of them. If I can stop this convoy, like I genuinely feel like this map has has hamstrung me right from the beginning. Roger, full speed. Well, there's not really anything that you can do. Oh, 
Engaging target. I'm shooting a guy that you got no hope of killing. <clears throat> Damage minimal. Jesus, these tanks are not even slow either. As per my understanding, you must destroy the entire convoy to succeed at the mission. Galleon 200. Well, I might be able to secure a kill on this. But this tank, the lead tank, is the main issue. Scratch another target. <clears throat> Reporting vehicle destroyed. Nice. That was some serious missing going on there. What can I do for you? Um I'm wondering if I can run the Centurion up onto the hill and start LRMing this guy as he r tries to run away from the high ground. This is a little road here as well. Go on then, missiles away. Come on! Yes, Commander. You will just never catch the convoy. Oh, I say that. I sort of have a shot. On my way, double time. However, I'm more concerned with just removing this guy from existence. If I can. Copy that. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Alright, he's on the run. Oh, he's found his way into the forest. That might slow him down a little bit. If I had top end pilots. Send me a real opponent. I might be, I might feel a little bit more confident. <sighs> this friggin' pulse tank does not make me feel good either. But what can I do about it? Oh, he totally missed everything. Sweet. Stressful, but sweet. What's up, boss? Oh, right, I've got the shot. Even on a move, I've got the shot. That's it. I'm blocking the valley. These guys can't get through now. They're going to have to shoot me in the back to get past. Which I wouldn't put, put, put it past them. Alright, this guy needs to not survive. Kill him. Oh, beautiful! One more for the trash heap. 
Thank you, Large Pulse. You are truly my friend in these darkest times. God damn it. I took a critical hit. Them heat sinks, they cost money. Don't you know that? I'm a little bit too close here. Alright. He's already taken his move. Affirmative. So let's see if we can just get rid of this guy. Nice. Bye bye. All right. Good to go. Now I feel like we are winning. Uh, your chance of actually meleeing that guy is almost non existent. behind this guy and just dump everything into him and hope that we get the 42 points of damage we require oh that looks good <clears throat> nice we'll probably shut down now but I I don't care Damn it. by the way if anyone's watching me like overheat my mechs and they never explode there's no chance of explosion on a first overheat. Just a pro tip. So if you're gonna overheat like crazy to get work done, be decisive about it. Just be like, okay, fine. Order. I'm gonna fully overheat straight away. There won't be an ammo explosion. Of course, there could always potentially be a, um, a shutdown. But there won't be an ammo explosion. All oh, right, this SRM striker, I think, could do with a barbecue. Roger. Ooh, nearly. This mech has not got any ammo, so. Uh... Oh, that hurts. God damn it. Waiting on you, Commander. I'm a little bit too close to this guy. Oh, the metal to the metal. Even forty percent is fine when someone is so badly damaged. Should rattle his cage a bit. Order. All right. Forty. That's not going to do anything. Okay, it's just time to minimize damage now. I hear you. Uh, can we just get a slightly better shot here? Uh -huh. All weapons are go. Come on. Ah. 
How is he not? Um, not lost that leg yet, Jesus. Standing by. All right, I just need one shot through the front, and this guy's done. Get your lance to the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. I might shut down now. Yep. It's too high. Commencing shutdown. That's all right. I'll definitely get the commando next turn. Damage minimal. Receiving you. All right. Coordinates received. Let's keep this light, shall we? I copy. Just a little bit of a softening blow. Wow, I can't believe you tried that. What can I do for you? You shall pay for this transgression with your life. You betcha. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Okay. Let's just give this guy a little something to worry about. Roger. There we go. <clears throat> Reporting critical hit. Yes, Commander. What a pain. Problem is, this had to be a messy engagement, otherwise, I never would have done the objective. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, let's deliver some missiles to this guy, shall we? He's still, like, desperately unstable. Goodbye. How dare you? What's up, boss? Um, just thinking. I copy. Do I risk overheating? Doesn't really feel like there's much need to risk overheating. Got it. Receiving you. We'll get him next turn. I thought for a second there he was going to shoot my centurion in the back. Although my centurion does have reasonable health. I hear you.
Maybe he's not concerned about my missile spam. He should be, because I can still get an optimal Maxine, shot on no him. Shooting. Nice. There won't be any explosion, because that's my first time overheating on that mech. Oh, I'm taking the rear shot here, and I probably shouldn't have. He's actually got loads of armor left on his rear sector. That's actually the one place I've not shot him yet. Putting one in the back. Although shooting at the back is no guarantee that you'll actually hit the back, to be fair. I'm going to use Vigilance just to make sure I get a second go with the Hunchback. Affirmative. This should be the fatal blow for this tank. Firing full complement on enemy. Nice. Vehicle trashed. Mission. Sweet. Now this mission wasn't really to make money, although money would have been nice. This mission was to find equipment and find equipment we did I can certainly sell that for money okay these are pirate weapons, not prototype weapons, despite using the prototype acronym of PRT. So they're gonna be they're gonna be junk, basically. I certainly wouldn't mind getting my hands on some of these machine guns. Well, the Ultra AC-5 and the Pulse Laser are all very nice picks for my weapon run here. And then anything else I get is more or less a, a sell, but let's see what we get. Two bits of commando, that's money in the bank, some machine guns, some SRM-2s and 6s. Okay. It's not bad. See what the repair bill comes to. Whether we made a profit or not. I'm very pleased with how that mission went. The mission had much potential for uh, being a failure. Especially when that map spawned and I was like, oh my god, they've just got a straight run for the exit. I'm in trouble. But all the vehicles were relatively easy to kill, so I got away with it. 60 grand for the repairs. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm pretty sure that 60 grand we'll make that back selling the things that we just got. Obviously not the weapons that I wanted to keep, but some of the other stuff. I'm certainly never going to use this stupid pod thing. SRM 2s are junk and I will never use them. Alright, oh, that engine that we picked up is worth 50 grand. So that's good. So that's the expenses of the mission pretty much covered. We got a Guardian ECM out of the deal. Some machine guns, some SRM6s, a pulse laser. And an AC5 Ultra. And we got a couple of pieces of commando as well, which I will now immediately sell off. 
there's absolutely no point in trying to get them to a saleable state because uh, you have to repair them and I can't afford to repair them although you might get some free equipment out of completing them but I can't afford to wait I need the sweet sea bills that they provide Okay, so that financial report is in eight days now, apparently. Seven days on the hunchback. Holy, I cannot, like, these are all like a mistake. <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna kill morale. This is probably gonna kill morale and give these two guys high spirits. I think. This would probably give everybody high spirits and probably not kill morale. And this will probably murder, like, this will probably give morale and give everybody high spirits. But I can't afford it. I can't really afford this either. This is the best I can do. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just leave me with five grand. Uh, I just wish this hunchback was actually fixed in time. I don't think I can pull this off with two mechs, to be honest. But there is good money on offer. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with how close I am to running out of money. Just in case some event comes up that requires a bit of money. Although we have just had an event. Uh, let's get rid of the flamer because I'm not going to use that. I've got a few too many spare medium lasers here. LRM5s are not really something that I'm going to use much of. Hard decisions must be made. Alright, I feel like this is okay. I got four days of mech bay time to play with. But I don't really want to. Okay, 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 okay. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. All right. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Sweet. Job's done, Commander. Stop. See, sometimes it pauses and sometimes it doesn't for uh, when a mech is finished. All right, we got 27 days. It's loads of time. Right. Why is there a thing on this? Oh. There's a broken heat sink that I forgot to replace. Ah oh, well, whatever.
I'll replace it after. Okay, so the last mission, we we made a reasonable profit. We managed to pick up another Guardian ECM, which is great. We picked up an Ultra AC5, which is good future piece of equipment. Not good for me right now. We picked up a medium pulse laser, which is also very nice. And we made all of our money back, pretty much. So all in all, that was good. Could have taken a little bit less damage, but had to play very aggressively to make sure that we won. This mission... It's just about bringing home some money. You know, once again, people say, oh, why don't you take Max Salvage? I won't make good money on Max Salvage. Or very rarely. This place isn't so bad. And the simple right? reason for that is, um... On my way. That with only 5% sale value... Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh my god, I'm caught in a sandwich. With only a 5% sale price, it's quite a struggle to actually sell items for more sea bills than you would have gotten for just going for sea bills. What's up, boss? Alright. Double time. Let's go. This could get really ugly. What can I do for you? I don't remember enemy reinforcements usually being a thing on this mission, but. Go in turbo! There you go. What can I do for you? Holding action, Commander. Holding action, Commander. All right. Waiting for orders. What am I looking at? One, two, three, four, five blips. Receiving you. If you just tuck in the corner here, I'm pretty sure these guys will not be able to get a shot. Oh, more blips! Cool, cool. just what I wanted. I hear you. This is going to get really ugly. Oh, how I wish I had jump jets. No need to tell me twice. Have at me. I hear ya. Uh, hang on. Let's just fall uh -huh. back, shall we?
No way I can get aggressive here. I'm gonna have to play the corner, play the wall. All right. Oh, another one. Glorious. Waiting on you, Commander. Hmm. There are minerals back here. Got it. Which if I can get up there I might be able to abuse. Waiting for orders. Um yeah, that's no good. I don't know what I'm dealing with to charge on in there is very concerning to me. Rogue Tech does not really reward decisive plays because it's just uh, the accuracy bonuses for hitting people in the side and back are, are way too high. So charging in is a bad idea. Got it. No shooting, just running. We just fall back for now. Try and get the ones that come around the corner and pick them off one by one. All oh, right, he doesn't have a shot. I hear you. But I should be able to get one. Yeah, look, I can actually run into those minerals. Probably not realistically this turn, but next turn. Well, that's an indirect shot only. A butcher? What the hell is this thing? Right, it managed to headshot me. Probably for a one point of damage. Two points of damage! Standing by. Mm. Do I want a high chance to hit or do I want to actually be safe? What can I do for you? I think being safe is a better idea. Let's see if I can tag his ass. Uh huh. This should be good. Come on. Yes. Good to go. Ready for orders. 
All right. Stick in the woods to keep our defenses up. Let's stick with pulse because we've actually got a good chance of hitting with it. Roger that. All right, not bad. Waiting on you, Commander. move a little bit moving out could do better but whatever all weapons are go nice oh brutal when I shoot you you'll take it and like it Okay, that tank doesn't seem to have a shot, but he is coming around. Got minimum range LRM. You got a shot from up there. All right. It's in minimum range. It's not in minimum range, but not in optimal. Do I want that little bit of extra evasion? Yes, I do. Affirmative. Come on, get that engine. Oh, nice. And stay down. Extra large engines. Gotta love them. Nothing says I hate my pilots like an extra large engine. Okay, what's next on the menu? I think this hunter is. He's actually injured on the side. I could beacon his ass and pulse laser him. Can I do that from a more advantageous position? Not without dramatically reducing my chance to hit. I mean, I'm more or less fully engaged now. There certainly isn't much harm in just charging forward. Okay. Make it happen. Two large pulses in the side, please. I copy. Ah, one hit the front. But that might not necessarily be an issue. Sweet misses. to go 80% chance to melee him from a good position that offers me defensiveness and gives me a chance to cool down you betcha why not I was gonna just laser it to death oh my god that would be a miss Maybe I should have lasered it to death. Oh my god, it's an Irby. Oh, 
Oh, it's a it's a rotary Irby. Send me a real opponent. All right. This is not the fight I was hoping to have, but whatever. Ow! That hurt a lot. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I did melee, because otherwise it would have overheated. Oh, that rotary AC2 is nasty. Yikes! That hit hard! Waiting for orders. that, whatever that is. What are the odds if I just stand in the forest here? I can kill this guy. Moving to position. And let's, um... Let's vigilance to make sure that I get to go again. And plus, because I'm unstable. Oh my god, I missed. With the all important pulse, I missed. That's a critical hit. Despite my 85% chance. Waiting for orders. Got it. Oh, I can't really afford to use my main weapons here. I'm potentially re risking an ammo explosion. Thirty damage. Just enough to take those both out. Alright, let's just rattle him a bit with the light machine guns. I'm not going to risk the explosion today. What can I do for you? 90% chance to kill his ass if I stand on him. Gone. Coordinates received. This is going to be good. These fights we have, huh? You like that? Damage minor. Okay, that's all right. Commander. Well, I certainly can't afford a shutdown. Or really to take much more damage. So... Right, Commander. Let's leg it to somewhere where I'm difficult to shoot at.
Okay. He's, uh... Going somewhere. Jesus, they're thirsty for this hunchback. Oh sweet, the Yerby's getting closer. Ow, ow, ow! Okay, we're alright. Reporting! Structural damage! Commander. The Irby finally got close enough. On my way. Alright, we were not hot this turn. Which means that we can, with impunity, shoot the rear. For massive damage. For a massive damage. On it. Goodbye, urban mech. Oh! Oh! Tango down. I'm starting to cook. Brutality. Waiting on you, Commander. Right. Did anyone forget that the uh, Centurion is actually really good in melee Moving when I was busy position. loading it up with LRMs? I hope you didn't. Uh. Oh my god, come on. That's the second super high chance to hit I've missed. I needed that Jenner dead. And this is where, like, other streamers or YouTubers do much better, because their pilots are not complete garbage, so they would never miss a, a shot like that. Ever. From the very beginning of the game, they have enough experience points to get to, like, level 3 or 4. Uh, sorry, 4 or 5 piloting. Ow! Engine shut down. I'm a sitting duck. 107 damage, what? That's absolutely mental. I hear ya. Since when did plasma get that good? If I punch this guy in the back, which I have a good chance of doing, then he probably will die. I could missile bombard the urban mech. Which is not the biggest threat right now. Good to go. Commander. Of course, doing this will reveal my back to these two. Although my rear armor has taken no damage and is reasonably thick, it does guarantee hits, more or less. Am I able to... No. Let's go for the Jenner again, because he's actually in a reasonable position for me to defend myself you, properly. Going toe -to -toe. Nice. Waiting for orders. Where is that plasma gun?
Arm weapon plus 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 plasma cannon, okay. It's on the right arm. Good to go. Which I cannot get to. Got it. Oh can I? Yeah I can. Alright, if I have to shut down to destroy it, I will. Nope, I missed every shot. My heat's getting pretty high. Good to go. All right. <laughs> this is pure luck now. But I'm more concerned about Captain 107 damage here and his ultra mega super plasma rifle of death. Minimal damage on that hit. Okay, where's he going? Sixty-six damage this time. Still plenty. Generating a lot of heat, Commander. Commander. On my way. All right, this this will shut my ass down, but it'll be worth if I kill him. Actually, let's just overheat. Right, Commander. God it's damn it! It's hot in here, Commander. I hear you. Yes, Commander. Um. What can I do for you? Come on. I need these hits to actually hit. I need connections. Ooh. Nice. Order. Going full throttle. All right, I just need 11 damage and to not explode. Come on. Locked on rear armor. Oh my god, it didn't work. Reporting critical hit. And now he's knocked down, which will protect his back. Over the red line. Heat damage. Uh, am I even going to make a profit? <laughs> I hear you. Don't let this guy get up. This is gonna be good. Nice. Should have run when you had the chance. Good to go. This is the left arm. Coordinates received.
Okay. In fact, just cool off. This Jenner has got go. almost no weapons left, so. Acknowledged. Let's just cool down. Heat critical. Shutting down. I'm surprised that hit. I know I shut down, but it's critically damaged missile launcher at poor range. What a messy fight. Waiting on you, Commander. The last thing you ever want is to fight two lances at the same time. But it's not a situation that can always be avoided. No sweat. Take this. Standing by. Commander. Right. Right, Commander. Finish him. In fact, let's just go with the laser barrage. Affirmative. Still alive. Somehow. Somehow it's still alive. Ow! This is trouble. Come on, I'm supposed to be making money. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Finally. Down. I better get a nice bonus for this. Jesus. What can I do for you? Right, Commander. Firing everything I've got. Waiting for orders. Narc beacon this guy. Affirmative. Okay. Let's keep it cool. Target acquired. Just gonna rattle him a bit. Okay, he's actually close enough to be stepped on. Took a hard hit there. This should be simple enough. Oh. Oh, oh my god, he hit one shot and that one shot hit the cockpit. Waiting on you, commander. Ready for orders. It's always something, isn't it? I hear ya. Alright, let's see what happens to this urban after I put another giant volley of missiles into him. Good to go. Still alive. Double time. 
And if my hunchback also joins in. Affirmative. Nice. Critical hit. All right, that's got to do it. Receiving you. Now all I need is for you to step on this tank. Please. Sixty percent chance. Locked on for physical attack. Come on. Nice. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Oh god. It never ends. What can I do for you? Time to die. Okay. Mission. What a horrible mission that was. I could have done it so much more cleanly if the two lances had been split up. But they just kind of merged together and it just became really messy. That 45 ton butcher probably had some really good gear as well, but I just need sea bills. Even a piece of 45 ton butcher is only worth about 26,000 sea bills. Thanks to the 5% salvage thing. Alright, repair bill. Moment of truth. What's it going to cost me? Eh, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. I can absolutely live with that. Always good to see you in Ops, Commander. Right, both of these contracts are just suicide for me. And so we once again roll the dice on the star map. Let us find the nearest planet. Summer is only 10 days away. So let's go. We made reasonable money on that mission. Just need a few more like that. Oh, weird lag. Sometimes the jump sequence has got weird lag on it. I, I don't know why. It's a mystery. The summer time when the planet is fine. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. Okay, so who's in the hiring hall? Oh man, a guy with an ability. It's Juggernaut though. I'm not sure what is the point in um, having Juggernaut and having terrible piloting. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm ambivalent about that one. Because we all know what really matters is the contracts. Will I be, will I be making money on this planet? That is what is important. Uh, 
Well, not on any of those I won't. Oh, the game is lagging now while it's thinking about contracts. Lag, lag, hey, lag, man. lag, lag, Pull lag. All oh, right, contracts. Oh god, it's bad. These are both good salvage missions, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee money. Oh, this is bad. I'm going to have to do these two missions and hope that there is stuff worth selling. Then get the hell out of this planet. <laughs> the contracts have failed me today. Right, while we're at it. Need to fix that heat sink. This is a nice piece of kit, but I wouldn't hit with it, that's the problem. Oh, machine guns are always nice, though. I never consider con reducing my laser quotient for some machine guns. Eh, nah, it's probably not worth it. Um, heat sink. Okay, that'll do. So, are you guys enjoying the desperation? I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Okay. Unfortunately, this planet has really screwed us over with these contracts. There's nothing here for money, really. Apart from this three and a half skull destroy base, I could try and cheese this to death. But that would be extremely risky. I'm going to have to do these two, both for salvage. Hope that I get good salvage. Hope that I take little damage and uh, then get off this planet and try and find somewhere else where there's contracts I can make money on. And so on that note, Watch me continue my struggle next time. <laughs>